Today we're using a transferred called Seashore. And we have our wooden welcome sign that you guys see often, which is four feet by 10 inches. And these are the different photos that come in one pack of Seashore that we just showed you. And right now we are um, just figuring out our welcome sign. This stencil you can get right at Hobby Lobby. It's gonna look backwards, I apologize for that, but it is not backwards. I'm using now um, a sapphire from Wise Owl and putting it all over the board because I wanna create uh, a color that matches this particular transfer so it blends nicely. Now this transfer had an octopus, it had a um, seahorse, it had a boat and an anchor. And you can get that on chalkitupfancy.com. So now I'm applying Wise Owl gray linen all over the board, but I'm not thinking about getting full coverage. I do want the blue to peek through. So I'm just basically with a roller, a foam roller that we get from Lowe's, I'm just going over the entire board. And you can see some see-through. Now I did blow dry that and it's now dry. And I took some black and just dry brushed with no uh, pattern all over the board. Once that was completely dry, because it's very important that your transfer is not sticking to any sand residue, we did sand it. But you also want your paint to be extremely dry. You need dry paint and a clean board for your transfer to adhere and stay adhered. So that's what we got so far. I now lay down my welcome sign. And of course, you want to measure and make sure that you have everything exactly the way you want and make a plan. And I took some black paint with a foam roller and you want to load it and unload it. That's the key to stenciling and you don't want to push down as you're painting. You just want to lightly roll over your letters. You can go in different directions if you feel like you're not getting good coverage, but do not press down. And then you're just going to lift very easily and not shift the stencil. And now you have your word welcome. You can put it in any color you want. We then blow dried that again. I know it's backwards. This was from a live on uh, Facebook and Facebook, we didn't flip our camera. So unfortunately it did turn in out backwards. Okay, so now we're taking our anchor and I'm moving it slightly down so that I don't cover my E in welcome. And we did cut the tip a little bit and then we cut the excess off the bottom. and you just peel it off its protective covering and you stick it down. Now, the best tip I can give you is as you lay your transfer down, you wanna work on the edges first. After you get, you know, you wanna get all the bubbles out, but then when I really start rubbing, I'm gonna focus on my edges and getting the sides to lay down before I even try to attempt to peel this back. And here it comes. Now I'm just rubbing all over and making sure it lays flat. And then I got all the bubbles out. And there you go. Now I'm doing the top part where we chose the boat. We felt that that all went together nicely.
and I'm just repeating the same process. This little wooden stick comes in every package of transfer that you can find on chalkitupfancy.com. This particular transfer is called Seashore. We have many different names, and I do apologize. They do sell out fast, but we try very hard to keep them in. Now you're going to have to burnish it, and this really does adhere your transfer to the board. The key is you need to be very careful because the sandpaper does lift up the image slightly. Uh, so you want to use something that's very high grit, definitely over 400 grit. I use a very old sanding block. These are some of the f images that you can get out of the transfer. Uh, I use a very overused sanding block, and uh, that seems to work good. We decided to put on a compass. Uh, at first, I was going to cover up the um, north, south, east, and west because it wasn't fitting on my board. And then after I realized, I decided to just cock it a little bit to the side, and then the north, south, east, and west did fit on. I then took my varnish from Wise Owl, our favorite product, in matte, and covered the entire board. And if I do this with three coats of the Wise Owl varnish, I can then put it out on my porch and not worry about weather. And there you go. Thank you so much.